Hello and welcome back to Settlement Survival. We are still recovering from our previous fire um, and we have another fire on the horizon. So I'm very concerned on how that's going to turn out. <clears throat> we do have another tech point here that we can throw in. Uh, and if anybody recalls, we are playing until we finish researching all the technologies. So with that being turned in, we only have three texts left and they're all under the processing tab at least as far as i can tell clicking through just to double check yep so we got three more texts to go um people are starving they are homeless things are not going particularly well i'm hoping that we get to a point where there's plenty of food um Seems to be like a clothing issue in particular. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and I guess make some fishing nets. We do have the ability to get some immigrants. I am going to accept them just because we have so many people dying and, and leaving that it's good to have the extra people on hand. Uh, just to fill the positions that are, you know, certainly going to be made available, uh, because of that. We do hit, we are trading, uh, we have a bunch of caravans going right now and they're pretty much just trading fat for clothing, uh, which is pretty interesting, but they're, they're going and doing that right now. I do have a lot of coal I can get rid of as well. Um, and we do have some trade goods starting to build back up. So I'm hopeful that we'll get to a point where, um, you know, this will be relatively cleaned up, but you know, not positive. All right, let's go ahead. And we got this. It looks like back up and running. Uh, did it not pick that? It was weird. I must've been clicking that kind of incorrectly. All right, so we got furniture and luxury furniture. I think luxury furniture is what we need to be working on. Let's work on glass bottles over here. I think we had glass going over here. Building kits are what we're currently out of, but we are working on them. Uh, it just seems like bricks are our current shortfall but we are working on bricks so at least there's that how many bricks we have okay refined fuel is our current um limitation there so we are making refined fuel just not at a you know breakneck pace or anything so i am very concerned about <laughs> uh getting all this rebuilt and then another fire just immediately destroying everything um, it certainly is a concern of mine. Uh, some caravan just returned to town. I don't know where that came from, though. Um, hopefully we get somewhat normalized. At least nobody is really starving anymore. We do have food reserves starting to build back up. Uh, where we left off up here, we were kind of just finishing getting all the farmland back up and running. We did add on a couple more water nurseries to try to get the, the medicine back up. And it looks like that is, for the most part, working for us. Uh, clothing is definitely a problem, but this has gone down from 800 to 650 since we started. So um, these imports do seem to be helping with that quite a bit. Uh, tools and alcohol apparently are an issue currently. Uh, I am very worried about running out of these sturdy tools. We are only making them here. So, um, but it looks like we have enough resources to turn them out. I am going to increase this to 500 just to make sure we have plenty of them available. Um, <clears throat> all right. This toolkits are definitely, um, in short supply. So I think. If anything, I'm going to temporarily change these over to building kits just to make sure we're producing an ample amount of them. I am worried about using all of these toolkits 
and then having another fire that destroys everything and then having to make even more toolkits. That uh, is definitely concerning. All right, caravan has returned. Some people are graduating from the school. Um, and at this point, we're just waiting for either things to get rebuilt or things to get burned down again. So I'm hoping... I don't think there's anything I can do for fire control. I just got to double check and make sure I'm not missing anything here. But there does not seem to be anything under services. Yeah. So there's really not much I can do, I don't think, to prevent fire from happening, which is, you know, of course, very unfortunate. I'm hoping wherever the fire starts, it starts somewhere where we can kind of keep it at bay. But again, I'm not exactly sure that uh, fire was pretty brutal last time it ripped through all of our, our land pretty aggressively over multiple years, even. So it even hopped to the other side of the river, which I don't know how that happened, given that all these bridges are stone and there's a giant body of water. So I guess uh, there's really not much we can do to control it. So it's about to kick off. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I don't think I'm going to rebuild this warehouse. I'm going to go ahead and demolish it. And I think I'm going to build it somewhere else. Well, we built this mountain warehouse, so I think we'll just use that instead. Um, no, I said to demolish that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Don't know why that did that, but it's all right. All right. Do we have linen being made anywhere? So this is flax from a textile mill. I don't think we're even making flax anymore at this point. Maybe we could convert this to flax. All right, we might have to wait till the next season to make that change, but I'm thinking I'm thinking we change this to flax. Make sure we have something. Here's the fire. Hopefully this gets managed. Ah. Here we go. So I'm hoping Maybe if we get lucky, we can just demolish these couple houses here and contain this, but I, I'm just not confident that's going to happen. This hasn't been rebuilt yet, so maybe this will serve as a little bit of a fire break, but I'm not, not exactly positive on that. We did demolish those two buildings. Yep, there we go with that. So are we able to contain this? I don't know. If I issue demolish command on buildings that are on fire, will it actually demolish them? Come on. All right, I'm I'm waiting for it to actually demolish things. It did get rid of that building. Okay, did we manage to tame the fire and prevent a catastrophic uh fire from from happening again? And I think that actually freed up some resources to to rebuild some of these buildings. So, I think we might just kind of redesign this area. Um but let's see what happens. I, I think that actually worked out really surprisingly well, which is a good thing. Um, food is still pretty tight. Um, and I think that's just because our citizen, our number of citizens are still going up. 
which is, I guess, a little bit surprising. Um, no more fires on the horizon, so that's good. Uh, what's going on here? Why is there no... Oh, current number zero. Why are there no horses? So I've definitely purchased horses. Where did they go? I think we're going to end up having to order them again. Which is <clears throat> a little annoying because I don't know what's making them disappear. Uh, maybe the there was a plague thing that killed them and I don't have two of them. So there was nothing to repopulate. That's the only thing I could really think of. Um, here is our horse shipment. And that does look like it put horses in here. So that's my current line of thinking. I'm not 100% sure if that's actually accurate or not, but I'm uh, leaning in that direction right now. Um, as far as everything else goes here, it looks like we are starting to stabilize a little bit on the clothing, the housing, the food. Everything is kind of normalizing. I do want to rebuild. Um, I think I just deleted a hospital <clears throat> and a church, right? So I definitely need to rebuild those things. Let's go to services. Hospital is one of the things that I deleted. R is rotate. All right, we'll put the hospital down. What else did we do? Where is the church? We got church. You know, we have not built a mosque. I wonder if we can fit one somewhere over here. Let's go ahead and remove. I'm just going to remove these roads entirely. Um, I'll rebuild them at some point, but I want to get this down. Get that built. And then there's probably a lot of overlap between these two. I think they provide the same stuff um as far as need goes um <clears throat> and then we do need to get housing wise we need to get a luxury apartment back up and running um i think i had it might have been over here i'll put that down right there there's not really enough room to do that we'll do some garden villas So why did we build this here and not closer down there? I'm going to have to demolish the church that I just built and uh, move it down a little bit so I could fit some garden villas in here. Uh, yeah, I'll purchase glass bottles. Uh, I feel like those are always in need. Okay, church down there. It gives us enough room to put some garden villas. I think I might need to cram another luxury apartment over here, which actually fits quite well. So we can go ahead and place that there. We can't quite fit here. There we go. We can get some housing going there. <clears throat> Let's do a little cut stone road. Maybe upgrade some of these roads a little bit. These are like dirt roads still. Okay, so we're getting these rebuilt. It looks like we're getting a decent amount of uh, <clears throat> toolkits now. Let's go ahead and change this from cotton to flax uh because it's in the off season that should produce flax for us to make um linens and that needs to be done at a textile mill 
So at least temporarily, we can change this to linen just to make sure we can get this building rebuilt. I think it's the only thing that we actually have a need for linen for. And then our boat just arrived. So let's go ahead and see what we can trade here. Uh, we have duck, I think. So I don't need that. Tools are actually, they're red, but they're, they're going up. This was lower than this before. So I think that's okay. Uh, food, we seem to be okay. It's not the best food, but it is food. So I really don't think we need much of anything here right now. Um, yeah, I think, uh, it says total in reserves zero. I should have this already. I'm a little surprised if I don't. Uh, okay, let's... I guess let's just sell this to get rid of the excess. We can go ahead and buy... some oven? And then I think we can get some, maybe some medical soap. Um, 75 of them? No. It's pretty close. Let's go ahead and do that. Good enough. And we now have ducks, even though we're not actually growing them anywhere. Uh, I guess let's build another corral. Let's see what we can do here. All right, where is... I probably scrolled right past it, but I'm looking for the corral. There it is. I think we're just going to slap one of these down here. Just keep extending this uh, cut stone road here. Along the back, we'll put that down here, and then we'll get ducks growing here. I don't know if that's going to provide anything unique for us, but we could at least get it started. Uh, we do have another tech point here, so let's go ahead and put this into, uh, I guess, the let's do canned food. We can get a cannery up and running. Let's go ahead and put a cannery maybe somewhere over here I, f I mean this is by the meat but not so much by the veg maybe we'll put it right here they can come across the bridge um and bring it over here and there is a transfer station here so maybe that will provide some use okay now that we are done We have enough building kits. We can go ahead and switch back to tool kits. I'm not exactly sure what we use them for. I can't remember off the top of my head what we use them for, but they are being consumed somewhere, so it's probably a good idea to, to build it. All right. 30 tools so it's still going up, which is good. It's a net positive. Uh, I feel like Clothing is actually doing surprisingly well for the limitations that we have. Um, this is advanced bedding. How are we doing on feathers? A little low on feathers. I'm hoping ducks, I assume they yield feathers. So we should be able to kind of overcome that a little bit. We did open a second um, textile mill that is making silk. So silkworm cocoons, which we are getting from mulberry. Mulberry is, looks like it's pretty much maxed out. So I think <clears throat> our current limitation, we have mulberry leaves in inventory, which means there are more mulberry leaves being produced than there are silkworm cocoons. So I 
think maybe we need to up this to like 300 or so. That might help uh, overcome any shortage there. Not 100% sure. We'll see what happens. Uh, we are down to having no herbs again, which is not exactly a good thing. Where are the duckies? All right, so we have ducks. All right, ducks are being produced now, just like horses. So hopefully the horses, I think they go into the caravans. I wonder if that's part of the problem. I wonder if they get like pulled out when caravans are being sent. I'm not 100% sure how that mechanic works. Um, steel tools, I have a shortage of. I should try to make those somewhere at some point. Uh, do we have any other smithies around? We do. You're making hand carts. Let's go ahead and make steel tools just so we can get this back up and running. Um, cause we need this carving workshop and that's not going to get built until we have steel tools available. looks like you can't substitute other types of tools. Um, food wise, we seem to be running really close to really close to running out. Um, again, I think that's mostly due to our population, but we'll have to see how that, <clears throat> how that plays out. Um, cannery is now up and running what do we want to can meat can all right all these cannibal goods cannibal <laughs> um all these goods that can be canned i think maybe salted fish will be my best bet uh just because we seem to always have a little bit of fish left over so we can Go ahead and start with that and see how much we end up yielding out of that. Uh, I don't know if I want to limit it to 200. Like, why not make it 400? Just bump it up a little bit. It give, it yields more food or more uh, nutritional value than just the plain fish. So I would prefer to convert all the fish to that uh, where possible. Uh, this should increase people's happiness. Looks like it is. Um... We do have a bell tower. I'll go ahead and pop that in there just so that we are confident it's getting more range. I'm hoping this linen starts to take off after this uh, flax is grown. Looks like it is grown. So are they going to start doing anything with it? Time will tell. The steel tools are being produced. This is going up, so hopefully that will be built relatively soon. Uh, what is going on with the flax here? It's, it is right here. So I'm hoping it makes its way down here. Looks like it is. So they are starting to work on that, which is good. And then that should be taken up here and used to build that. We will ultimately have to resume the cotton production because I think that was one of the few places we were um, actually producing cotton. Um, yeah. Let's click on this building and highlight it. Yeah. Blue, blue. It highlights in blue the other buildings of a similar type. So those might be the only fabric water mills we have in this place. So I might have to build some more. Um, maybe another one over here, but we shall see. Um, what else do we want to get up and running? We we're running short on clothes again, which is definitely a problem. I'm not exactly sure why we're struggling as much as we are. Raw materials. Let's go ahead and... What is, um, I would have thought it'd be under raw materials, but, or, or, but I'm looking for the coal under fuel. There we go. We have a ton of coal. So I think, was it 900? 
950. Let's see if we get it exact. Okay, 960 is the amount of coal that we could sell. Let's buy some clothing. I think luxury coats are what we're looking for. Uh, we're going to need like a third of that or less. Let's see, 100. Okay, so that's, can we do like 120. Yeah, with a little bit of leftover after that. Let's go ahead and form a caravan. I should have put this on loop. Yeah, let me just put it on loop. And we'll let them just continually do that. Hopefully that will overcome the, the need for clothing. Um, and I think we're producing it quick enough to where it's not going to be a problem. Uh, we have eight jade statues. We're using the jewelry, but not all of it. Uh, luxury furniture, I think we could probably sell uh, like a hundred of those. I don't want to sell most of that. How much gems can we sell? I mean, that's worth a lot. Um, clothing. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's just sell that, and then let's buy some clothing. Oh, there's the earthquake. All right, this I think I can build. I can actually get quite a bit. Um, all right, 1,600. Should be fine. I am going to buy insurance on this uh, just because it is pretty significant. I'm also going to increase the amount of people to reduce the risk because uh, this is a large transaction. I want to make sure we are properly covered. I don't want that one looping. Uh, I just want that to be a one-time thing. It'll meet this need and give us another like year or two's worth. So hopefully we'll be able to kind of catch up at some point. Okay, we did did just get another tech point. Let's go ahead and build a gourmet shop. That is the second to last building that we need to be building. Can we cram it in over here somewhere? Kind of a big building. Uh, no, looks like that's just a little too large to fit in here anywhere. Which is a little unfortunate. Well, uh, no, we can't can't quite get it in there either. So I guess we're going to have to find a home for it down in this area. I guess we could put it, <clears throat> put it right there. And let's get the cut stone road going across. And see what we can get going over there. We have 204 laborers that are, you know, ready and raring to go. We are... <laughs> out of uh wood which is definitely a problem so let's go ahead and issue a command and we're just going to do gather all and we'll just select the whole map and let's go ahead and just tear everything down uh we can't transplant it because we don't have anything we'll just issue a big command to, to chop it all okay we we Shouldn't be thirsty because we definitely have plenty of <clears throat> plenty of water. They're probably just not reaching it in time. Um, uh, kicked up with the kids. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what exactly that did. Maybe it added some more people to our citizenry. We do have senior housing up and running, so... That shouldn't be too problematic, although we are definitely short on some level of housing here. So let's get back to building that. We definitely need to overcome some of these housing shortages. I guess we'll just cram a building there and put a cut stone road so that people can walk in into the location. This is really janky, but I'm, I'm not going to touch it. It's... uh. 
too deep into the game at this point. Um, luxury houses will probably fit here better. So I'll go ahead and plop a couple of those down. Uh, I'm just going to build, you know, buildings wherever I can squeeze them in right now. Just to try to overcome some of these uh, deficits. Looks like we can fit a couple along the edge here. And along the edge here. Okay, that should maybe completely take care of this. Not 100% sure, but it'll, it'll at least get a decent chunk of them taken care of. Okay, this did get finished. Let's go ahead and get working on Jade statues again because those are incredibly valuable. We have a lot of money, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, Why is our deposit... All right, let's do deposit that. I think maybe it automatically came out of the bank once it reached that that timeline. So we'll we'll just kind of keep putting money in there, and it will slowly build interest over time. We are also minting coins, so uh, we have our own little uh, Jerome Powell up here working to churn out extra cash. Um, converting the silver ore, uh, looks like we're getting about 2,500 a year or so. So hopefully that will keep the, keep the cash flows coming. Everything seems to be going pretty well. What is the status on this building here? It looks like regular furniture and regular cutlery are the current limitations here. Uh, speaking <clears throat> of which... I need to change this back to hand carts because that's what I was um, working on over there. And we are looking for regular furniture, at least for a little bit. And then cutlery, we want to change it from silver to regular cutlery. Just, just to get this uh, up and running. All right, output limit reached. Don't know why there's a limit on this. It should be uh, much higher if there's a limit at all. <laughs> all right, I'm going to increase this much higher because I'd rather all the corn be converted over because the popcorn is double the hunger fulfillment and the happiness and doesn't have the negative 20 health. So it's like a, just a exponentially increased gain so i'd rather make as much of that as possible rather than limit it unnecessarily uh paper looks like we have a good amount of that books we are low on but we are not out of so we're we're, we're churning away at that i'm guessing all the books are being consumed um at the schools here so uh, we are going to keep going here and just kind of plod through. Uh, I'm amazed at how far behind the <clears throat> the tailoring is. So I'm really hoping this gets through successfully uh, and fulfills all that need uh, without too much of a problem. Merchant ship has arrived at the dock. Let's see. Oh, they have luxury coats. Look at that. Okay. So we could buy some more coats here too. Uh, 386. I should probably stop putting corn here. Because we are running low on food and it doesn't make sense to store it. Or sell it, I should say. Maybe increase the amount of reed. Well, we're actually churning through that reed pretty good now. All right, luxury coats, 30,000, I think. Uh, hmm. So, like, 18, 17, 6. All right, I need to add, like, 145 to that. 
there we go so we just bought a thousand luxury coats so that should immediately take care of all the clothing needs and then we have another 1200 on the way in this part of this caravan assuming it doesn't get destroyed and that should stabilize our clothing economy yeah look at look at this tick down as people go and pick up the, the clothing that's available here um i am gonna remove corn and wheat from here i just feel like we shouldn't be selling off food if we constantly are running low our population again is is booming we're kind of going through this boom bust cycle as we have these natural events that are damaging our economy uh and there's just a limit there's just a limit on how big our city can be based on the amount of food we're producing um we can't produce so much that you know there's nothing we can do about it so let's look back here this was linen i do need to change this back to cotton cloth although we have a fair amount of reserves we're not completely out at this point it was enough to at least get this uh bathhouse back up and running which is important because that plays into the happiness or health i'm not sure which um i think people are just yeah it's health so that is good we did make enough of the regular cutlery and we did make enough of the regular furniture so we can switch that back now this building is getting built so let's go ahead and see what we can do at the gourmet shop once it is done being constructed they are building away okay so only a couple citizens without houses clothing is in a much better situation than it was a little bit ago um drink there's not much i could do to help you i don't know why we're completely out of water again uh i feel like we have gone completely crazy building this reservoir the reservoir the reservoir and <clears throat> we're still not able to, to keep up with the demand so it's a little bit surprising um let's go ahead and fill that full of people uh picnic Rack of lamb. I don't think we're doing anything. I think we are roasting turkeys, aren't we? Is that something we're making over here? We're making baked lobster. So I guess let's go ahead and pick that one. Right, delicacy. Because we're doing something with baked lobster. I don't think we're making wine. Maybe we should make wine. Uh, are, is this buffalo jerky? It is. Okay, so we'll switch to that because we have beer readily available. So let's go ahead and just assume that that's working pretty well. Although, feast is probably worth... Oh, really? So it's 40 hunger. This actually gives happiness. Oh, okay. Never mind. It, it is better. It gives health as well. But that's all right. We can go ahead and start with making picnics and kind of go from there. We have more people coming in. Some more immigrants. The question is, do we want to accept them? I'll hit the button. They're probably going to die off, to be honest. I just don't have enough resources to maintain them. How is this caravan going? It's, it's going. It's still taking quite some time. Looks like this caravan did cycle automatically, so that is a good thing. We'll kind of see how that goes. This is our last tech point. So once we hit this, um, we'll go ahead and check out the bakery. But all right, so it's the same function as the bread shop, but a greater variety of food and more efficiency. So this is the bread shop. We should be able to hit upgrade once we get this tech, and then that'll uh, that'll wrap it up. So this will be the last episode of Settlement Survival.
I know I'm running a little long on this episode or longer than normal, but I figured we might as well just wrap it up now, uh, play a little longer. I don't think there was enough content to make it another episode. So housing wise, I think we are about as good as we're going to get. If we cram in another luxury apartment somewhere that would overcome the immediate need. Put that there. See if that will help at least house some of these people. All right, we are moving right along. We've played on 10x this entire time. Uh, we've never slowed it down for, for anything, which is pretty interesting. So... <clears throat> I, I guess I should give my final thoughts on the game while I get ready for this last tech point to, to kind of roll in. Um, the game is really interesting. It has a lot of content. Like one of the one of the big, I, I wouldn't say complaints, but one of the limitations of other games like this is they don't go as in depth with uh, your choices of food. Um, I almost feel like this might go a little bit far in the opposite direction. Uh, it might be a little too much. Um, but now that they've added the ability to somewhere in a patch down the road or somewhere in a previous patch, they've added the um, functionality where you can I'm trying to find a spot where I could kind of illustrate this. So like here, they added this where it's like if you have any of these resources, use them to make these luxury coats before it was just one recipe at a time. So I think this helped overcome a lot of that limitation. Uh, I think it made a, a big difference. I'm not a huge fan of the menu down here, but I do know in a more recent patch, they kind of redid all the menus. So uh, it's just that this save wouldn't have been compatible if I upgraded. So I had to stick to the older patch till we were done here. But uh, let's go ahead and get this final tech while I'm talking, but that is something I, I feel like they probably could improve on. And it sounds like they did. Uh, I did just get the achievement technology town. So that should be, um, all the text discovered. Um, yeah, there, there's just a lot of content in this game. I don't really know what better I could have done. There is a lot of territory down here that I did not end up utilizing almost at all. So I could have probably moved all my farmland down, maybe down here, terraform that got rid of the mountains or moved all my mines over to here. Uh, <clears throat> I don't like once a quarry is built, there's nothing you can do uh, because when I started here and I built the quarry here where I originally started, I, I hindered myself. I stopped my ability to expand and grow my town. Um, but yeah, I think if I had to do this all over again, I would have spent a little, I would have been a little more deliberate as to where I was placing stuff, specifically not starting off production. Like I should have dedicated this entire side here just to building the town um, and then moved like all my production to one area, all of my farm to one area um, and not end up having it as hodgepodge as it is. Uh, I, I could go back and, you know, destroy everything, redesign the roads, uh, be a little more deliberate. You know, I played a little more ad hoc as I was playing. Um, and I think, uh, in the future I would, I would clean that up a little bit. So no, it, it's a pretty good game overall. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the quality of everything. Um, it looks like there's a lot more options over here. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, very good. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider hitting the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content in the future. And hopefully I will catch you in another series. Thanks for watching.